The Ice Age. It's fairly easy to say what the climate is like in any particular part of the world. It's cold at the North and South Poles, the extremes. Then it gets mild as you move away, until ending up very hot at the equator, in the middle. If the Earth were a person, it would have a very cold head and feet, and a very hot stomach. But about 20,000 years ago, the Earth's climate wasn't like this. It was very, very cold everywhere. Half the planet was covered in snow and ice. Conditions were very hard. Only the best prepared were able to survive. Like the big hairy mammoths. People and animals moved large distances in search of a milder climate. Imagine if the ice caps at the poles extended today as far as cities like New York. Paris. Tokyo. Sydney, Buenos Aires, or Moscow. Except that, of course, in Moscow it tends to be pretty cold in winter already. Imagine if there was never any warm weather, and that in the summer, you had to go to the beach wearing a hat and scarf and stare out at a frozen sea. And that in winter, you had to go to school wearing two hats and two scarves because it was even colder than in summer. Well, that's what the weather was like during the Ice Age, 20,000 years ago. Back when New York didn't exist. Nor Paris, Tokyo, Sydney, Buenos Aires, and certainly not Moscow. Scientists say there have been several cold periods in the Earth's history, and that they repeat every 40,000 years. The Earth cools down because of variations in its degree of inclination towards the Sun, and the Sun's rays don't heat it up so much anymore. They also say that pollution heats up the Earth's surface and produces more evaporation. <laughs> the clouds then prevent the heat of the sun from reaching the surface. And the result is a very quick cooling down in just 20 years. So we've either got to stop polluting the planet or else start stocking up on more scarves. <laughs> 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 